Hiya YouTubers, this is Superman G, come back at you one more again. And in this video, I want to talk to you about processors. Now, one of my subscribers is in the process of building a computer for a friend. However, they made a mistake, or almost made a mistake, I should say, when choosing a processor. I'm going to bring up some processors, website, Newegg, and I want you to pay close attention to this. Now, if you've never built a computer or you're, uh, this is your first time building a computer or you're unsure about what products uh, to buy when it comes to processors, I'm going to try to show you what to look for because some of these processors have built-in graphics and some do not. From my experience, you will want to always get a processor that does have built-in graphics because if you do get that that's like a backup for if you buy a graphics processing unit or a gpu and it fails if you do not have a processor that does not have built-in graphics you can't use your computer so some of these processors you can usually tell which have built-in graphics sometimes by these letters that's at the end of the numbers but they change so often that it will probably just confuse the heck out of you so the best way to find out if the processor has built-in graphics is to just click on it come down to the area where it's like the description about what uh, specif specifications the processor has and see this particular AMD Ryzen does tell you that it has built-in Radeon graphics it's even in a description right here and that's what you want to look for you can still use a GPU along with a CPU that has built-in graphics you just have to make sure that you plug your monitor into the graphics card port and not the motherboard display ports. Along with Intel, Intel has this particular processor that does not have built-in graphics and it tells you right here, none integrated graphics. That's kind of a typo, it should be no integrated graphics. But if it doesn't tell you or, or describe if this particular process has built-in graphics in this area, then you want to scroll down and you want to click up here where it says specs. If you click on that and scroll down until you see where it says built-in integrated graphics, which is here, you can clearly see it says none. So if that's the processor that you choose to get, and sometimes the price is cheaper, as you can see it's 140. Sometimes the price for uh, processors that do not have built-in graphics is usually cheaper, but sometimes that's not, not always the case. But you just wanna make certain that if you do choose a CPU, make sure that if you do want built-in graphics, you choose one that does have built-in graphics, such as this one, it has Intel UHD graphics 770 or if you are going to use a GPU and you do not want a CPU that has built-in graphics you can save a little money but remember and know that if you do buy a CPU that does not have built-in graphics and your GPU your graphics processing unit fails you cannot use your computer. You won't be able to get a display on your monitor when you do connect it to your motherboard. So be careful when you're out there choosing these CPUs. I hope this helps you guys out. You all take care, be safe, and peace out.